Hey everyone, DeadBurgerBoy here, back to give another little tour of my server. It's been a while since I did the last one, and a lot's been going on, so I thought it was about time to come and kind of showcase some of it. And I also wanted to use uh, this video to just kind of go over a couple of the guidelines that um, I don't think people really understand just yet. Um, but I'll get to that in just a little bit. Over here we have a little unfinished precious metal and gem shop from Electrofried. Yeah, Electrofried. Um, but he hasn't been on in a while, so it's still kind of left unfinished. Should look pretty cool when it's done, though. And then over here we have yet another building from Nico. Uh, it's just like a general store. I don't exactly know what he's going to sell in here yet, but he's got the old school give and get little things. You can just sit in there and get your stuff. Since I don't have the economy mod set up yet, this is just going to have to do for now. Uh, I'm probably going to install economy with economy chests, just to make it kind of easy. Um, you're just going to have to learn the syntax. And then over here we have a shop by bat something. Bat with some sevens at the end. I don't remember exactly. Um, and this is something I wanted to talk about actually. Uh, if you didn't know, I, well I actually wrote it in the rules, but houses are supposed to be built further out from spawn towns. Spawn towns meant to be just for shops, like the buying and selling and trading of stuff. Like, I mean that's a shop, there's two shops, the bakery's on the other side of this. Um, but don't build your houses here please. I mean, this is fine for now, I mean it's pretty much a fun land back here now. I've got a water slide and like a patio I guess, but just in the future remember Shops in town, houses further away. This is actually a fishing shop, so he built this so he could just stand up here and fish. And then, like I said, it's a weird patio thing. I mean, it looks cool, but... I've never actually laid any brick. I've collected clay, but I haven't laid any yet. And then, this is a shop by Gant something. Gant 25. Not your home, please. Um, not really sure what this is supposed to be. Uh, I kind of don't like it because it's sticking right out into the path. Um, you don't really need a viewing area for a shop, do you? He's got this little give and get things too. Oh yeah, and here's the chest protection working. I can get in it because I'm the admin, but I can steal all your stuff. Don't worry, I won't. But yeah, you can't break these signs, but yeah, this is basically how you do it. You just write protection on the first line and hit OK, and then it adds your name at the bottom automatically. And yeah, nothing really up here, except again, he has his home up here. And over here we got Mega Tim's awesome armor shop of epicness <laughs> with a really weird floor <laughs> I think, yeah, I guess it's stairs that's really weird but yeah, everybody's still working on everything, so and up here is something I really wanted to talk about uh, it's gonna have to do for now but the whole point of a path is to have stuff on the side of it like I figured people would build on these sides, but instead Nico has built a community mine for us right in the middle of the path. Uh, and instead the path goes through it. So in the future guys, try to remember to build on the side of the paths. Um, that's what they're there for. But anyways, he's got a little community mine set up here. Equipped with its own little water ladder. Oh, and there's Megatim. <laughs> down here doing so oh there he is <laughs> with his butter armor yeah it's just got I'm not sure what these rooms are for because you can smelt your own stuff and use a chest for a second and then down here you just have a little strip mine and I think up here are different levels so if you want to get like different stuff Oh, and there's only three so far. Oh. Snazzy. 
snazzy snazzy. Alright, so let's go check out the Spleef Arena. I made a post about it, but I haven't actually shown it yet. Think of blues. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> oh. Okay, now I understand. Oh, uh, also, Watermelon had somebody ha- uh, Watermelon Pizza had somebody start building on his house, and he doesn't know who it was, and I'd like to ask you to refrain from doing that, if you could, whoever it was. Um, build on your own stuff, and leave other people's houses alone. Just common courtesy, you know. Well, hello there. Uh oh, it's getting dark. But yeah, this is the Spleef Arena, which Nico and Megatim built us. It's got its own little reception area, full of lots of rules. Oh, well, I was talking to Watermelon, but I'll let him stay confused. Uh, get your shovels right here. Um, normally there's someone standing back there, but... Got a little cafe back here. Get some meat. Some meat or some bread, make a sandwich. Yeah, this place is pretty awesome. Got a little viewing area up here so you can watch the battle go. And a nifty little creeper face. Let's see what this says. De dedicated to me and Nico. Well, thank you. Uh, off that way, Levy has a house. Which looks really awesome. I think I'm actually gonna go look at it really fast. But please, like, I mean, if if the person's online, you can go ask, check out their house. But um, don't go just like rummaging around in their stuff. Yeah, I think that looks really awesome. It's like I don't like square cobble buildings, but something like that just looks really cool. It's like a little Japanese building. So yeah, I guess that about wraps it up. Um, uh oh, I have company. So yeah, if you haven't come in yet, uh, just PM me for the IP and come help the. Oh God. Come help. Um, God, <laughs> they're making me lose my train of thought. Just come help make the world awesome. That's the whole point. <laughs> Take it easy, everyone. Oh.